1080p, yeah, 1080 pixel setting. It, it, it hops itself up to cutting itself off at the 30 hour mark. Yeah, cuts itself off at the 30 hour mark there. Yep, as you see, it's a new video. So, um, what am I, what am I expecting to look at in the future? Um, like, you know, just, um, yeah, after, um, yeah, after looking at that, sorry, I'm, I'm in my head right about now, um, I'm daydreaming. Yeah, uh, where would I go next? This is the next question. Because there's still more to travel in Pennsylvania. You know, um, I remember reading somewhere years ago, this is the most haunted state in this country. But there, there, there's a hotel that Stephen King wrote his book about called The Shining. That hotel, that hotel is supposed to be the most haunted place, building in this entire country. But Pennsylvania, statewide, statewide, I should say, is supposed to be the most haunted altogether. Okay. I guess that should make sense because if you think about the 13 colonies, since this was one of them, a lot of stuff has happened here. A lot of stuff has happened here. And this state, you know, really, really, really helped with the industrious period. It really did help with that. It really did. If I'm not mistaken, if I got the history right, you had your steel mills here, your iron ores and all that stuff. Most of that stuff, if I'm not mistaken, if I recall correctly from what I read from history class, all that was here first. That was here first in this state. Okay, so it should, I guess that should make sense that they will say that. That's enough opportunity to have died horribly doing that stuff. Building stuff, the, the way they did, you know, structuring back then. Yeah, they, they fall down. They're pretty much freaking done for it. That's how my mom's dad, you know, pretty much went out. He, he worked construction. He died like that, man. It's crazy. Yeah. At least that's the story I was told. So I never got to meet the guy. I never got to see that one granddad. You know, I got to see the other one. But I was a toddler, so I didn't have a chance to actually have a full-on discussion. Then he died. I was like, really? And then mom's mom is gone, so I can't talk to her. But... Only one of my grandparents is around that's grand, the dad's dad's mom. So at least I still have her, man. So I didn't get a chance to, to really, you know, have a, a sit down with the other three. You know, uh, but yeah, that, you know, yeah, based off all that information. It would make sense to say that this state, it has to be like the top one. I mean, then again, it should be New York because, you know, it's so busy down there. And, you know, people, you know, they try to hurt themselves all the time down there. And it's, it's that bad. They got to have a rule. You try to jump off a building, you still live, but you killed the person you fell on, you have to go to jail. Which would make sense, sure. But I'm thinking, shouldn't you put them in a mental asylum first, you know, or something? But whatever, man. But that's New York. I would, I would think at least New York should at least be number two on the list. New York City, New York, if anything. Um, what else? Yeah, I know Jersey's got some spot. I mean, it should be everywhere in the country. I mean, human beings have lived pretty much everywhere, just about. So it should be everywhere. They left the market. Oh, look at this. I haven't, I haven't come, did I come over here to look at this? I don't think I did, but that that's open. I don't think I did come to look at that. That might have been a spot that I missed. Yeah, infrared's not going to work up there too well. I was trying to be able to see into some of the darkness a little bit. I probably did see that part, and then I came back. Yeah, I did see that. Um, let's see what else. Man, there's a lot of good green out here. Lots of great green, man. Lots of good green. Nature area. So that's what these signs were saying. I almost thought these were the trespassing signs. Nature area. You zoom out some. Nature area. Sections of this park have been set aside as natural areas to protect and or study wildlife and plant species. No hunting, trapping, shooting, firearms, or bows permitted in this park. Harming or disturbing wildlife may result in a fine of up to $1,000. No dogs allowed in nature. Areas dogs must be leashed. Visitors to this area are to remain on the pathways. 
It always was about to come in here a little bit to see if this was the abandoned place, almost. So I didn't see the signs from a distance. But I found it, this place in a different fashion. Hello. Man. Um, I got at least what about a, an hour yeah pretty much an hour's worth of footage just about at least 45 minutes you know of footage in there and then I came out for like the remaining whatever time for that second video yeah I was, yeah, I was out here a good hour for that But I'm definitely not going to be camping out here, you know, because then somebody else will come in here and you never know. They may want to kill themselves in there. You saw some of the messages in there. person kept saying, screw themselves, you know. I guess they hate themselves. Now that's where I came from because I remember seeing that little barn area. So I got to get back that way. Yeah, a lot of um, self-hatred messages were in there. I guess when people feel like trash, they, they, they go to places like that, leave stuff like that behind. I'm definitely not going to be picking up a can and saying anything. I'm not interested in saying I was there. But then again, you'll see it in the video, so. But, uh, well. I have more, some, some more persons coming out. Now, these signs are talking about what kind of birds are out here. A lot of crickets. Let's see this here. Oh no. Oh, it's a little bit of history. Navigation Research and Development Center. Penn State ARL. Inertial navigation facility being constructed in 1962. During the late 1950s, some of the coldest years of the Cold War, engineers at the Naval Air Development Center uh, recognized that development and testing of higher performance inertial navigation seminar, no, sensor, sorry. Yeah, that, that's sunlight, dude, I'm telling you. I'm reading through the camera. So it should sort of require a unique dedicated test facility based on results of a site survey that focused on seismologically quiet criteria and proximity of, of to bedrock. The Warminster site was selected for the new inertial navigation facility. 1961 construction of the new NFAC was, yeah, this up here, was initiated, was completed in approximately two years, meeting the exacting environmental requirements of precision navigation development and testing. The main building is a geodic, no, geodetic, domed circular building. Wait, so they had stout, they had gyms out here? Building approximately 155 feet in di diameter. Amongst the unique characteristics of the building are A, an outer wall and center hull with vibration isolation material being between the upper and lower footings to attenuate building generated vibrational disturbances. B, a concrete floor constructed of individual slabs of concrete. Three fourths expansion joints between slabs to reduce, wait, three quarter inches, sorry. Expansion joints between slabs to reduce the vibration transmitted from one part to, of the facility to another and see the housing of all basic utilities within a separate sorry I lost the isolated mechanical building focal point of the facility is the inertial sensors laboratory which is located below ground level to enable the 12 granite test piers stable bases upon which inertial sensors are mounted to be bonded to the bedrock from 1964 to 1966 the INFAC was used to develop new technology inertials as well as inertial navigation so they have tr transitioned to surface ships, submarines, and aircraft. In September 1996, a result of, of a base realignment and closure action in Navy facility in Warminster was closed. However, the Navy recognized their continuing need for the INFAC and were co cooperatively with the Department of Education. Transferring ownership to the Applied Research Laboratory, Pennsylvania State University. And under ARL, the capabilities of the INFAC now, re re oh my goodness, referred to as the Navigation Research and Development Center. 
works wait hold on i'm losing it again because I'm, I'm getting distracted by this stuff out here we're expanding adding five laboratories the greater philadelphia institute of navigation library and staff members who are nationally recognized uh wait what who are nationally recognized navigation expert okay this says enable nrdc to better serve the navigation needs of the navy as well as also serve other uh dodd agencies and industry okay so there it is a little bit of history so if i so they were testing earthquakes and they mentioned summer submarines i'm guessing sonar and all that other stuff they were testing a whole bunch of stuff man out here they did have a uh yeah, they did have a um, military area out here. There has to be that stuff right over there. Let's go take a look at that. Let's go take a look at that dome. I want to see it. Get up close to it. There, there, there that is. Actually, I should be making my way out of here anyway. Um, maybe some other time I'll come back here. Then again, maybe not. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna just head on out. You saw from a distance a dome like area. That board was for that. I'm gonna get me keep, keep going. It, it'll be sunset soon. Had I gotten out here much earlier in the day, I had to work earlier. So had I been out here much earlier in the day, I would have uh, traveled some more. But, uh, you know, I'm off tomorrow, Sunday. Awesome. Can always do more traveling, but I think I'll just be focusing on uh, making sure all these videos are uploaded. And then work on some other stuff tomorrow. I have some projects I need to finish up anyhow, so, uh, yeah. Oosh. I bet you they used to come out here because they had one for crunches. Yeah, these people, they came out here and they did their exercises out here. World Trail. Black leg, no, back leg lift, pull leg lift, and front leg lift. Huh. I guess that's for anybody. I'm, I was just assuming that, um... Well, I'd be able to hold myself up like that, probably. Oh, I'm so sore. I should play monkey bars today. Alright, here, hold on. Make sure I'm put this like this now. We got up here some, some way. We tried the other one. Yeah, hold on. Let me see. Yeah. <sighs> almost got to the top, too. I only have so much uh, upper body strength. I almost got up there. Whoosh. I even climbed on it wrong anyway. Yeah, I, I basically wrapped myself around it rather than do the instructions they did. Those little kid times. <laughs> little kid times, man. You gotta love them. You can barely get up there. Started to slide down. Man, I probably should get some some uh, gloves to grip better. That's a good way to get blisters, man. Ouch. Nice looking house. Yeah, that's pretty much what this trail looks like. When you, when you use this trail, it's pretty much all this. Mostly green in the center and just these paths here. Bikers and pedestrians alike. Man, that's pretty much it. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.